Today, we will see how to set up a niche website from scratch within minutes using AI solutions. So first of all, what you have to do to set up your website, your niche website, is to find a domain name. So go to your registrar. For example, I am using Dynadot because it's one of the cheapest and it's very uh, reliable, but you can choose the registrar you want. And what you have to do is to start by uh, finding their keyword uh, research tool for domain. So go to find your domain, enter your uh, domain. So for example, I want a domain about scaffolding because my uh, niche website will be about scaffolding. So you can just look for domain name if you know already the domain you want. Or all registrar have an um, artificial intelligence search solution that will uh, provide you several um, several uh, possibilities for your keywords. So for example, my keyword here is scaffolding. Let's see what you enter. So uh, here with this uh, registrar, every time they give you 10 solutions. So me, I want a .com for sure. For example, scaffoldgenius.com could be a solution, but I want to keep looking. So let's keep looking. Of course, usually when you will be looking for a domain name, all the good, good uh, ones will be already taken. But me, I want a scaffolding in the in the domain name, so I will keep looking. I want a .com because it's one of the cheapest. So I have actually a special uh, price because uh, I am a, I am a long time user of Dynadot, but without special price, I think it's eleven ninety nine dollars a year for a .com at the moment. Buildingscaffolders.com. So this is not so bad, but let's keep looking. And I want a .com for sure. So what I can do also after the next round uh, here, nothing is good. Nothing is good. So I can actually add the .com in the AI search bar to get more .com results. ElevatedScaffold.com. So for example, this is not so bad, ElevatedScaffold.com. Let's just keep it in mind. I selected it and pasted it and copied it in my clipboard, but let's keep looking. ScaffoldZoneHQ.com, ScaffoldersPro.com. Oh, this I like, ScaffoldersPro.com. This is good. It's short, which I like, and it uh, holds scaffolders in the name. Okay, that's good. So let's add it to my cart. Now go to my cart for 10.45. It's always recommended to buy for uh, more than one year at the same time, because if you buy just for one year, the search engines might, might see your site as a, as a potential scam site, because a lot of scam sites, they just set up for one year, they do their scam and then they close down. So here, let's uh, we will take three years um, and we don't need any add-on. We'll take three years. We have a promo code. Oh, let's just double check. There was a uh, promo code. So let's just look again for any any results of scaffolding. For example, there was a promo code right now because it is Halloween. So let's see if we can see this promo code again here. The code SpookyCom. Let's try to use this promo code. The duration needs to be one year. Ah, so it's only for one year. We have. We have a promo using SpookyCom, so that's right. Oh, wow, four dollars less. Okay, so that's good. So let's use this, and then we can always extend our domain name validity. But for now, let's just buy this. I have an account balance, but I don't want to use my account balance. I want to pay with PayPal. So let's pay with PayPal. Okay, let's go to PayPal. Now we just have to pay for this domain name. So $8 for a one, one year domain name. I guess PayPal will send me an SMS to verify or not. I want to pay with my PayPal, ba PayPal balance, $8. Okay. And it should be done. Okay. So I have my domain name set up. Now I have bought my domain name. If I go to manage domains, I go to my domains here. I will see. I will see the domain soon. Okay, okay. So my domain will come very, very soon. So meanwhile, what we can do already is to uh, is to go on your hosting. So for example, I am using InterServer. So go to InterServer. Uh, login, so I will use uh, inter-server, my uh, inter-server, I have already some links in my favorites, and here I can go to my hosting, it's a direct admin, I go to direct admin, and here I can add my domain to the list of domains that are being 
managed by, the, by this uh, server. So here I add scaffolders oops, with two f scaffolders pro.com. Here we go. Uh, blah, blah. I want the same as everything. Create. The domain has been created. Now what I have to do is to switch to my domain scaffolderpro.com and go to WordPress and install a new WordPress. So here I can easily install a new WordPress. It's a new installation, so install now. I want to install it to scaffoldersPro.com in directory. Uh, okay, in directory uh, WP by default. I want the latest version of WordPress. There is not yet a trusted SSL certificate because the uh, domain is not completely um, completely installed yet. So the site name will be Scaffolders Pro. Site description all about Scaffolding to manage them like a pro. Okay. Okay, and admin username. I need to generate a password, so let's generate a password. Okay, okay, let's uh, generate a new password. Copy it, um, copy it to your clipboard so you can reuse it later. Admin email will be, for example, this uh, user. Admin username will be this one. We uh, probably need some plugins. Oh. We might need a speedy cache, limit login attempt, some backups, file manager we don't need, email uh, we don't need. Let's check the advanced options. Database name, let's just give it a better name so we know uh, what it is about. WP SC Pro, SCAF Pro, uh, okay, auto upgrade plugins and themes. Default location. Oh, this is too long, so WPSC Pro should be fine. Table prefix, okay. And auto upgrade. Auto upgrade um, when necessary. Now, the theme, we don't really care about the theme. The standard theme is fine. Okay. And we can proceed with installation and, of course, make sure to email your um, installation deta details. To, uh, to yourself. So for example, in my case, it's uh, this is my email and I want to have all details. Okay, now let's install. We just have to wait a little. Meanwhile, we can uh, check if our domain name, name, oh, here we go. So we have our domain name. Now for our domain, we need to go inside the domain and uh, change our DNS uh, to be sure that we redirect our domain name to our uh, our website so what i will do here i will just uh, go to oops to my domains and i will just copy the configuration from another another website that is on the same server and will uh, be using the same configuration so for example this one it's the same let's just check Oh no, I am using, uh, sorry, did not this one, I'm using Ezoic. Uh, I have this one. For now, I, uh, I will not be using Ezoic because first the site needs to have some history. So here, uh, this is the same. I want a record A, then I want a record MX for the email, and the host will be mail. Uh, dot scaffoldersprocom then uh, google site verification it will be for later i want a spoofing oops the domain record i cannot uh, oh here add record i want a spoofing verification for email and subdomains i will need a 3w which is a type a with server ip address then i need the mail, which is a C name for uh, scaffoldersprocom 
and then uh, for CNAME, a uh, spoofing record, so for subdomain mail, a uh, text record for spoofing. And time to leave, okay, it can be one hour, it doesn't really matter. Save settings. I got, uh, uh, okay, so this one we can set, okay, save settings. Doesn't really matter, now it's done. So, soon, this domain name will be accessible. Now we have to wait a little for the uh, DNS propagation to be over. It can take up to 24 hours. Usually it is a little faster, but right now it is not done. This domain goes nowhere at the moment. So we have, we have to wait a little. However, we should uh, now be done with our installation. Here we go. We are done with our installation. And soon we will be able to access our website, so it is not yet the case because we have to wait for the DNS propagation. Once the DNS propagation will be over, we will be able to access our domain name, which is not the case yet because again we have to wait a little. So maybe we'll continue in another video. In a second part, we will uh, once the DNS uh, the domain will be accessible via DNS, we will be able to uh, fill it uh, fill in this uh, niche new niche website with articles coming from artificial intelligence so see you soon for another video